Welcome to At Home. So Linda and I lost a bet, and now we have to design the house of a friend of ours, Rosanna Pincino. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I mean, wait. I yeah. mean, we don't get cake, but we're still happy to be here. I'm so happy you're here. I'm That's, so excited. I'm excited too because I love helping friends with their spaces. We love helping families. But the thing is, this is a big house. Our bet as a recap, so you guys know, if we won the bet, and this was all voting from you guys, Rose is going to bake us cakes uh -huh. one a month. We got to choose what the theme was. And then if we lost, we designed her house. <laughs> I, I literally thought it was going to be like, Oh, put some flowers in and hang hang a picture, maybe a sofa. Yeah, we lost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so sorry. Um, this is a little ridiculous. In true my fashion, uh, I tend to go big. I'd say go big or go home, but we're already in my home. Go big and go home. I love that your house itself is already beautiful. I mean, even your front door, um, the reading. You have so many lovely details. Some of the, the metal accents throughout, and some of the fixtures, mm -hmm. great. But there's no furniture design, and there's no finishing work that's really and done. And I feel like there's no um, no row and mic in it. A question I do have, over here, this is an office. Are you wanting to keep <laughs> this as an office? Because this doesn't look like something that belongs yes. in a house. This is our office. This is a space that I use every day. Me and my sister Molly and Mike, we do a lot of editing in here and organizing. And I don't think that when this house was built, it was meant to be an office. It's like no. an additional little living room. Or, or it, you yeah. know, people typically in their home office, they don't have five <laughs> computers lined yeah. up and uh, they don't have three desks in here. So here's a question. How many people use this? So how many desk stations do you need? That's a great question. Well, there's me and Steph and Mike and Molly. And then we have this extra computer we call it Poo because <laughs> this is where we take photo dumps. It's where I dump all of our extra footage and pictures. Do you work together a lot or are you always at your laptops or computers? We will get together to use the whiteboard okay. when we're coming up with film schedule and coming up brainstorming ideas. But then Molly definitely does her own thing over here because she does like finances and stuff. So she has the more private computer. Whereas what I do is the fun stuff like photos and emails and, and poos. stuff. And yeah. poos. And <laughs> we like to look out the window. So that's why we put them over there. So this to me currently. feels like, like a high school dance party <laughs> where you <laughs> shoved everything to the outside oh. walls. And then and everybody then sits nervously. In the yeah. Oh, okay. So is this where we dance? Yeah. Wait, I think we need a 10 second dance break. Right now it literally feels like an office that you would go to a commercial building to, but it would yeah. be nice to have it still feel like a home office. And have like a huddle spot too, maybe. I would mm -hmm. love that. There wasn't any storage in here either, so we bought these little bins. And we just started stacking them up and we'd try to use this kind of a situation. Well, there's over labels. Here. That's you have good. Labels. Yeah, we tried to get organized. <laughs> but even like over here too, like you have your YouTube awards and stuff. I feel like it's kind yeah. of just hidden away in the but back. But yeah, if you had somewhere you could display some of your stuff, whether oh, yeah. it's your, your baking products or whether it's some of your, your memorabilia. Books. Yeah. But do you like the fireplace? Because I think it's a beautiful mm. feature, but right now it's just kind of lost. Yes, I love the fireplace, but we don't know what to do with it. It's not adding the appeal that it should because that is a feature that's meant to draw your eye into the room, but you have to kind of dodge around all the desks and chairs and computers to get there. We can lay this out in a different way that gives you tons of storage because this is what I'm seeing right now. Yes, this is my fancy storage solutions, Linda. <laughs> we got these and they don't match. What's in here? Well, Cord okay, cords. And, and it's stuff. not even labeled. It, yeah, <laughs> I know, no labels. But yeah, I feel like we have so much great wall space to work with for shelving. Do you need more storage? Mike, do we need storage? Yes, we don't have any storage. Okay, All yes, right. we do That's need yes. storage. I don't organize the office, my sister and Mike do, okay. so they know. We can play a little bit with the desks to figure out, because you need to fit a whole other desk in here. You said you need four stations. Yes. So we can play a little bit to get the maximum flow, but I like Linda's idea. Idea. Let's also have a little area that you can kind of lounge and hang mm -hmm. out in the middle and then that can help anchor the space with the rug. It will be functional and it will and be beautiful. Fun. <laughs> Put the fun and functional. That's why I need the both of you here to, to work the, the space. Work the magic and go. So you may have heard that Linda and I lost a bet to Rosanna Pensino and with that losing of the bet we are designing her house. We're working on it right now so we yes. thought maybe we could show you a little sneak peek 
What part are you working on right now? I feel like in the end we still might get cake. I, I'm hoping. Actually, that'd be really nice. We give her this beautiful <laughs> home and she gives us a cake. I so, mean, we don't expect it, but... No, we don't expect it. <laughs> so Linda so is working on... I'm looking at the before photos. I don't know if you can see. I'm also really excited because we have these custom doors being built for the office for Rome Mike. We have a friend of ours, Johnny, who does a lot of metal work with us on the shows. If you watch the Kevin Hart episode of Celebrity IOU, he did the door to the barber shop. Oh, yeah. And it's phenomenal. And in fact, we are gonna do a version of that door for Rowan and Mike. That's kind of what we're thinking for the office. Thin frame, almost like what we have here too. Yeah. All right, as you come in the front door, uh, nice high ceilings. They're thinking of potentially closing this off. I mentioned not a solid door. You'd still want the light to travel through, but this is their office. So they need to figure out something furniture wise that'll be pleasing in here. They need a ton more storage. So I was assuming maybe this side, there could be something storage wise. Desk, the privacy. This this is my favorite part. This is like brainstorm central right here. All right, what's our next big idea? This room is so important for Ro and her business because Molly needs a desk. Mike has a desk. They have the other team players in here, but we want to make sure it was still comfortable and it was yeah. relaxing. So they have all the function they need with storage on the side. They have four areas for desks. They have a lounging area for creativity and ideas. Yeah, just because it's work doesn't mean it can't be stylish as well. Exactly. This is a dream. Having some custom work like this, Johnny from Emrix is a magician. These doors, the design, is actually something that is completely unique to this house. And they're so sturdy, but they don't yeah. look like, ah. Uh. Well, it's, it closes <laughs> off the space without closing off the space. Yeah. That's the best part. Yeah. Hey guys. Hello. I mean, you recognize the house. This is Rose house. Do you recognize the house? Cause you, you haven't seen it a lot. And we kicked Mike and Ro out and now we're inviting them back in for the big reveal. Should we make them give us a cake before entering their own home? Good point. Every room we take them to, they have to <laughs> give us a cake before we do it. We have like, so many rooms to share. We've created a whole series yeah. out of this whole project here. And there's part renovation, it's part furniture design, it's a lot of parts fun. The big moment. Oh. They're here. That's a, oh, that's a signal. Welcome Hello. to your home. Oh, oh you got big kids. Somebody ordered a party. Yes. <laughs> yes. Win win. We got mini cakes. I will take this so we get these and you get this. What's your first What's reaction? What your catches your eye? This? I'm putting these down. We actually opened things up, we went wider, we went taller. We wanted to make sure we showcased this entire space here with these custom doors. <laughs> wow! Mike, now I can lock away in the office and not have people bug me. It truly has its own space. I have dreamed about having office doors because it's always been open in all of our places. When you do custom work, this is what happens. You have something that looks like it was a part of the house the entire time, and then, Come in for the function and the style of your office. I love the layout. Welcome to where all the magic happens. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how many different weird layouts we've tried over the years. This is yeah. Drew's specialty actually. He's a Tetris master, mm -hmm. so this is like Ooh. really fun for him. You wanted four desks, you needed two desks with a bit more privacy, yes. you wanted to have some style, creative space, lots of storage. We should have a lot it. in here. And Mike gets hung up. We've never hung our YouTube sign before. You have your one YouTube button over there. You have your other one over here. This is a room I want to spend a lot of time yeah. in. I yeah, mean, it doesn't I, feel like an office that you don't want to be in. It just yeah. feels like a I even like this rug. Yeah, I love the character of the rug. It sort of anchors the space. Before, it just felt like an office that should be in an office building. And then there was no real function for your storage because you had bins on the ground. So now you actually have spots where you can put things properly. I had to bring that up. <laughs> that yeah, kind of yeah. sounds like us. Like grown-ups. <laughs> put them on the shelf and tuck them away. I just love everything. I would have never even thought to like pick browns and blacks because I don't pick out like bold colors when I pick out furniture. 
furniture, but I love how it matches even like the metal of the door. Yeah. Well, exactly. I think that's something a lot of people don't realize with design. If everything was just exactly the same, it would be boring, that's but you can mix. Yeah, and that's what a lot of people do. They just don't know any better, but you can mix mm -hmm. textures and you can mix materials like the stone and the and metal And brown the door. and black. A lot yeah. of people like steer <gasps> away from that. But. Is this teddy bear? This is your teddy bear. This <gasps> is more of, this is sort of like a, a blueberry teddy bear. And a then blueberry you teddy have, bear. Throughout the house, you're going to see we're going to have more coconut. Oh, yeah. cool. <laughs> I'm going to go on a limb and say this is the coolest home office I've ever seen. And like to make it work for having four different people and still have another seating area, I don't know. It's great. Well, coolest office I comes for the coolest couple. That's all I say. Aww. But thank you guys for hanging out with us. This is one of many, many episodes in this series, Transforming Mike and Rose House. So be sure to subscribe, follow along, mm -hmm. hit some likes going, ding some yeah. bells, give yeah, us some like comments. like this video. And check out all the other rooms because they are amazing. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you.